So here we are with, at the communication board at the playground, and I hear Anne Marie is going to tell us all about that. I know they had one at West End, yes. and I needed somebody to explain yes. it, so now well, we have that. Take we take were that very mic, Matt, take that mic. Okay. <laughs> we were very fortunate enough to be able to partner with Limbrick SEPTA, which is the Parents Association for Special Needs Kids in the District, and they have this communication board, which is a method used with students that have some difficulty um, communicating, nonverbal students, and typically in the past they would bring their iPads to the park to communicate. Um, and it's been found that these communication boards play a lot of value within our parks. So SEPTA put it out that they wanted to do it for the school district playgrounds and we were able to partner with them um, to get the board so all the boards are the same in each park the same um, method of communication all tailored to each individual park and so every playground in Limbrook two here one at this one one in the um, younger kids park over here at Grice Larson and also all the school districts have this board so students and um, kids, young kids that come down can use this here to communicate with their parents or their caregiver that's here. So it is a great opportunity to show that we are all working together, uh, the village, the school district, um, and it's a great accomplishment. So the SEPTA did have a four-year plan that turned into a five-minute plan because oh. the PBA <laughs> did sponsor one of the oh. boards. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very helpful. In that. We're yeah. uh, down okay. at West End, mm -hmm. and then another group, Joey's Place, came in and helped them um, purchase the rest. So we were able to purchase all seven together, um, which was a great savings for the village and for the district. So it was a great um, opportunity, and the parents worked really hard on it. Well, it's great. So how does it work exactly? They just point to what they yeah, want to say? Yeah, they do. These students are trained um, to use this as a communication method. So they would say, you know, they all mean something like hello. You point to hello. Um, if they want to leave, they're going to say goodbye. Um, but they are really um, trained in this. Um, of okay, their way to verbalize. They typically have it on an iPad and they use an iPad to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, but and this is great because they're playing in the playground and yep. they could just... Yeah. iPads, you know, tend to... Parents were finding the iPads were breaking and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, this, And it's costly. So it's it's something that another method that they can just generally get out here, run and play and not be connected to a device. Wow. So it is a great way for them to communicate. Kind of make great. life a little bit easier. For yes, sure. exactly. And That's the parents, the, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Parents and then for them to communicate to other children. Yeah. You know, it makes it easier that, you know, they're not separate. They're part yeah. of this community. They're part of the group playing. You know, so now they're part of the, you know, the, you part see all the, the kids family. playing here. They're part of that group. And if they need to communicate, here's an easy way for them to That's communicate right. with other kids, parents, or Emory said caregivers. But, you know, Emory brought this before the board, the partnership with SEPTA, and it was a great opportunity, again, for the children and the, the people in this community, you know, to provide this service. And, you know, we thank Anne Marie for, you know, bringing this to us. Thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm very proud of this. And once again, this is Limbrook working together. It is. It's great. Right. Wonderful.